Hello and welcome to a King Jeffrey War Recap. Today is going to be a little bit different to usual, uh, mainly because we actually lost the war. I've never done a war recap of a war we've lost. Uh, that's not necessarily because I don't like to do them when we lose. It's mostly probably because it's not very often we actually lose. I'm going to want to talk about that a little bit as well and how we're going to do things in the future and what our goals were and what our new goals are going to be. But this war was against Badabin clan. It was, as I say, our first ever arranged war. But just before I go into that, I want to have a look at our uh, have a look at our war log. So as you can see here, Bada Bing there, we lost by one. We've had one war since then. I was going to do this review a couple of days ago, but the file, the video file ended up corrupt. So I didn't want to do it straight away again. So I gave it a couple of days and here we are now. But if we look at the war log and we go back, it's very, very green. The only defeat before Bada Bing was to this Chinese clan. Um, not only did they have more Town Hall 10s and 11s, they felt the need to drop barbs on our top two bases and still only managed to beat us by one star. So, I mean, our aim, I mean, well, if we look at the top ones as well, I mean, most of these wins are between 15 and 20 stars. Some of them 12 stars. I think only one of those previous 10 wins has been by less than 10 stars. So if, if we talk about what our aim has been in Clash as a clan, I mean, in the past we had to, one of our first aims was to be a top 200 clan. We managed to do that. We pushed a couple of times and we got in the top 200. And then since then it's been all focused on war. We have a war record of what, 197, 21 defeats and two draws. So that's pretty good, considering we lost 7 out of our first 11 wars, I'd say that is excellent. And our main focus has been on war logs. You know, winning wars and having a nice green war log. And yeah, that's got to be, we've got to say that's mission accomplished now. I mean, what can we do to, to improve on that? The only thing we can really do now in regular wars is maintain the war log. And that's what I mean. I think we have to move on to these arranged wars more now because there are ways we can improve. Don't get me wrong. We have a lot of things that we can improve in King Jeffrey. Uh, one of those big things is Town Hall 10 on Town Hall 10 3 stars. Now the thing is, Town Hall 10 3 stars are probably the most difficult part of this game. Not many people are going to argue against that. To do Town Hall 10 on Town Hall 10 3 stars, you need to plan raids, and it can take hours to plan those raids. Now look at this war log. I mean, if we're winning wars by 15, 20 stars, where's the motivation to spend 3, 4 hours of your day planning Town Hall 10 3 star attacks? There isn't any. It's not there. You know, the Town Hall 9's 3 star or the 9's, the 10's 2 star or the <clears throat> 2 star, the 10's and 11's, and then our 11's move in on the 10's and 3 star, the 10's. Where's the motivation for the Town Hall 10's to learn really, really difficult 3 star strategies? <clears throat> Sorry. In regular wars, it's just not there. You know, so we're going to have to move on to arranged wars. And then we need to improve. We have something to aim for more than in the current state of the game where all we have to aim for is maintaining what we already do. So if we take it and if we look at it as a sport, let's say for the American viewers, make it simple, NFL and college football. At the moment, we're winning pretty much all our games at college football level. We can't really do any more than we're already doing. To go with the arranged wars is like moving up to the NFL. So what we're going to do, and I think everybody's on board, is we're going to move up to the NFL. And because of that, we're going to start losing wars. At the beginning, we're going to lose wars. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be difficult because we're going to be facing experienced clans with experience at facing anti-three star bases 
Town Hall 10 anti three star bases, experienced at three star in those bases, where we don't have that experience yet. So, you know, we're going to lose some wars. We've already got some very good clans lined up. I think War and Glory, we have a war against them arranged. They just beat War Whales. So, we're probably going to get an absolute spanking by them. But, you know, it's going to learn. We're going to improve. And the, the war against Badabing, and we had that practice scrim as well against Cold September. And I think in those two wars, we have learnt a lot more than in any of these, any of these previous 49-50 wars. And we're already improving. We're already learning different strategies. We're already tweaking our bases. And that's good. That is really good. Because if there's one thing that's good about King Jeffrey, it's that we always learn when we face better clans. The problem is, without arranged wars, we are not facing any clans anymore where we can learn from. Yeah, you know, we're gonna, we, we will lose normal regular wars, but they're gonna be few and far between. And if we do lose them, mostly they're either modders or big mismatches. So, you know, we've gotta move forward. We move on to the next stage. Yeah, the first 200 wars in King Jeffrey's war history brilliant absolutely amazing war log but we've got to leave that behind now and we've got to move on and we've got to improve and the only way to improve is by doing these arranged wars so finish with that not going to talk about that anymore let's go on to the war so we lost this by one star 82 81 was the score if we look at the war map uh, we look at this, actually look at the war stats as you can see 23 three stars to 21 one uh, to, to 21 three stars uh, they actually couldn't two star broom but they did a number on all the others so they had better total destruction 90 percent to 91.8 percent if we look at the war events basically it came down to their last two attacks two town all 11s on town all 10s three stars that won them the war 82 81 but if we look at how we matched up all the way down, we can see that on their Town Hall 11s, number one, R, who is our Town Hall 11, he had to do number one, but that was more because he had to do an early attack rather than we couldn't, we didn't try and two star number one with a Town Hall 10. R had to, had to do one of his attacks early, so we said, like, go for number one, get it out of the way. So he did that. They obviously didn't. Uh, they obviously failed to two-star our number one, so we can count that, you know, side by side. And then on number two, number three, and number four, all the town or elevens apart from the first one, we did with town or tens, and we did them fairly early as well. We did them fairly quickly. We didn't waste many attacks. Town hall tens, all two-starred. We three-starred either four or five of them with town or elevens, and then town or nines, all done. So Town Hall 11s, we did exactly the same as them. They did three of them with Town Hall 10s. We did three of them with Town Hall 10s. Town Hall 9s, we had to dip for two of them. They also dipped for two of them. Their number 10 took out two of the Town Hall 9s. So that was exactly the same. So basically the war was won on the Town Hall, Town Hall 11 three stars. Which, no disrespect to our guys, you know, it's something we need to work on. But... It's not something that's difficult. We, we will be able to learn that. We will be able to improve in that area. So, yeah. So, as you can see, it was very, very close. It was an excellent war. Bada Bing did great. Um, they were really, really easy to work with all the way through. There was no smack talking, anything like that. We had constant contact with their leader throughout the war. He was very friendly, really helpful. Um, and at one point, they had... He actually, we didn't ask him to, but he actually left out, I think, about six or seven town or nines that had 30-30 heroes, just so that the hero advantage wasn't too much. And so, yeah, really nice, really good guys, deserved their win. They also did a video as well, a war recap, which they were really nice about us as well. So thanks for that, and thank you for the war. I'm going to show some replays. I'm going to show... I'm going to show Conrad because I think this was Conrad's, it, it was either only his second or it might have been his first ever Queen Walk on a Town Hall 11. I'm not sure. First ever Queen Walk at all, I don't know about Town Hall 11s. But... 
He's not very experienced at Queen Walk anyway. Either way. But I think this was his first Queen Walk in war. I might be wrong, but yeah. So he's using Queen Walk and Dragons. He's got five healers. And this was a very, very nice attack. Level 35 Queen, level 32 King. They had more level 40 queens on the town or 10 side, but we had more high level kings. We also had better wardens on town or 11, so we had slightly higher level wardens. They had slightly higher level heroes at the bottom, on the bottom town or 9s. So it was pretty even overall. Base strength, the base weights were exactly the same for the entire clan. So it was a very, very even war. Uh, there's absolutely nothing that can be said that they won because of this in the matchup or that in the matchup. They deserved their win. They did very well. So Conrad here. So his level 35 queen is doing the business. She's wandering around. So he's up to 18%. I think the aim here was to get about 30% with the queen. Once she got round to the east side, somewhere around here he was expecting to have to use the ability, I think. And he actually didn't have to, because all those defences hitting her there, but she manages to survive. So now she's round the corner, she's going down to this side, she's got 27%, moving in on 30%, and now he drops his king. He's just going to clear that west side for the dragon, so they're not going to get stuck over there. Queen's still going. She just used the ability now. 35%. He's dropped the earthquake on the town hall to get the health down of that a bit. His queen is still going here at 40%, 42%, 44%. The healers are being blown about by the sweeper now, so she's going to die. 45%. So he actually got 45% on that raid with the Queen Walk. Level 35 Queen. 45% on... What? Is it a max town on 11? Not far off. Dragons all at the town hall, straight in. All they've got to do basically is take down that town hall. Which is what they do. That was a really, really nice raid from Conrad. Very pleased with that. So what we're going to watch next, we'll watch the raid on Cass. I'm only going to show five attacks um, because this was an arranged war. And I don't want to... I don't want to show too many of the enemy bases, basically. They made a video. They didn't show many of our bases, so... I'm going to return the favour. I'm not going to show many of theirs. I'll show this one because I'm going to assume that Cass is going to change his base. Because it was just a straight up mass drag that got this one. So heroes at the top for percentage. We actually did this base first. We had, did a scout attack on this base from Wes. And we used Wes's attack who's only got level 20 heroes. So we used him as a scout. He went in. He got 49% in Town Hall with level 20 heroes. So basically Wuxia did the same raid, um, but she did, she's did. she got level 35 heroes. Just figured that extra 1%, extra 30 hero levels in total is going to get 1%. And it did. The extra percentage she got from heroes was actually the extra percentage of the entire raid compared to Wesley's raid. So there's the Queen and King. They've done their bit. They've got 18%. And uh, now with the Dragons. The thing is with Dragons, it's not always very easy to... I hate using Dragons when it comes to Queen War because I've done Queen War attacks with Dragons. And my Dragons never go for the Town Hall. They always end up going wide. And you'll see from this raid that she actually... She only manages to get three two or three dragons on that town hall I think if this was me I wouldn't have got any on the town hall so she's got no freeze and she's hitting town hall head on 
Uh, she's hitting both Inferno's head on and the two air defense are covering and the um, eagle. So it does very, very well there. Really nice raid. Wuxia, she also took out number two with a queen walk go wipe. So that's the 11s. I'm going to show some town or nines now. I'm not going to show the 11s on tens because that's, you know, they're dropping to attack a town hall lower than them. I'm going to show Lad. So let's watch Lad. This is the second highest town or nine, I think. Something that surprised me here was the fact that this base didn't really look like an anti three. All their bases seem to be big open bases that, you know, your typical solid, good anti new, like the new type of anti three star bases. This one was different. And I did, I liked this attack because Lad got a huge percentage with his kill squad. He got about 35% and 3 air defense just with his kill squad. So this guy got a pecker, uh, pecker in Clan Castle uh, that didn't really do a lot. Peckers can be awkward. I find Peckers are best against Queen Walk. They can mess up a Queen Walk. If they don't mess it up, they at least force the player to sometimes use a Rage or and the ability. Peckers can be good. In this case, it didn't really do much. And here goes up to 30% now. Golem's going to take out that south air defense, and then the queen's going to move into the center, and she's going to take out the air defense up there. Yep, and she's going to take out the crossbow. So he got massive amounts with his kill squad there. As you'll see, he um, only one of the Lava Hounds pops. Because he's only got one air defense left for, to send them at. So he's got three Lava Hounds going at one air defense. Really nice loon drop. Unfortunately, two of the Hounds didn't pop. So this did go down to the last few seconds. But I thought this was an excellent attack. All his balloons are going to bunch up there. And you'll see in a second... A red air bomb pops up very soon, and he also has to take out that wizard tower. So just here somewhere, or oh, there. So there's the red air bomb takes out half the health of all his balloons, and then very very close to dying. And that that would have been really really unlucky because that was a really nice raid, and he deserved the three star there. That would have been absolutely horrible if those balloons had gone down there. So, this raid finishing up. I think it was like, like I say, about three seconds left in the end, I think. Anybody looking for an arranged war, I would recommend Bada Bing. They were, like I say, they're very easy to work with. Very nice guys. Nothing bad to say about them. Deserve their win. Really enjoyable war. Hopefully we'll uh, face them again someday. When we've got a little bit more experience. Because we do need to tweak some things. We need to change some of our base designs. and We need to tweak some of our attack strategies. But that'll come with time. You can't expect to... Can't expect to, to do wonders straight away. I mean, these guys, compared to our previous 50 wars, none of our previous 50 wars have we faced any clans that have been anywhere near this. And I think that's why we've got to move away from regular wars, because the challenge, the challenge isn't really there anymore. Every now and then you get a challenge. Our most recent war was a challenge actually. But we, we came through in the end by five stars I think. We got three town or eleven three stars in the last hour. But normally there isn't really anything anything too too warriors. And that's not being big headed, that's just that's just fact. I mean regular wars there's just nothing 
you know. I think they need to bring arranged matchups or some sort of league system or something into Clash of Clans. Where fair play clans of equal ability can actually war against each other without having to do all this arranging and stuff like that. Because it does take a lot of time to arrange wars. It is not easy, and by the time you've arranged it and then the war starts, you're worn out, to be honest. This was a nice attack by Muxy. Look at the amount of hogs he's got there, and he's, he's only just using his first heal now. A very nice attack. He used dragons to take out the queen. One dragon still alive. There's his last hog. He's still got lots and lots of hogs left. His last heal, I mean, not last hog. Drops a giant there to tank for a bit, and that's the last defences down, and then it's just clean up. I think he had like a, over a minute left at the end of this raid. It was a really nice attack. I apologise if my voice is a bit weak or whatever. I've got a bit of a cold, so, and this is actually the third time I've recorded this video today because I wasn't happy with the first two. So, unfortunately, if I'm repeating myself a bit, it's probably because a lot of things I can't remember if I've already said in this video or whether I've said them in the previous three videos or the previous two videos. It's a bit hard to, hard to remember. But no matter what happens, this is definitely the last time I'm recording this video. The first time I recorded, I wasn't happy with the commentary because it sounded a bit negative. The second time I recorded, the video crashed halfway through. Oh, and the third time I recorded halfway through, because I've got a cold, I couldn't stop coughing. And so this is the fourth time today we've recorded this video. So no matter what happens, how bad it is, this is all you're getting. Sorry about that. This is a nice raid by Ray. I think this was the final Town or 9-3 star that we did. This was the last one, I think. Or maybe Arabian Beast did the last one, I can't remember. This might have been the second to last one. Not sure. This was a nice raid. Queen walk, only two healers because he was only taking out the... He only wanted the Queen to take out that east side so he could send in hogs and then they could trip those double giant bombs. It was a very nice attack. Ray is without doubt our best Town Hall 9 attacker. I don't think anyone will argue with that. He's our co-leader. He helped with all the Town Hall 9 strategies and with the bases and he definitely is a yeah, he's, he's a great member of King Geoffrey. I think this raid that he did was actually, he did this raid about 7 o'clock in the morning it was about 7 a.m. when he did this raid. And he'd been waiting for a lot of the other guys to clean up. He'd also been helping with strategies and tactics and stuff like that until 7 in the morning. So great job by Ray this war, both with his attacks and with his organising and helping out. Same with Arabian Beast and Mayfair, Butter as well. Eod. All held down at Town or 9 level, helping with strategies and talking through things. Swag heal from Ray there. Told him not to do that, but it was the final Town or 9. It was 7 o'clock in the morning. He'd been up all night. I think he deserves that swag heal. Well done, Ray. Very nice raid. So that's going to be it. That's the recap. I'm not going to show any more. We lost by one star, but... Just want people to remember, this is only the beginning. This is our first ever arranged war. We only lost by one star. We did well, four or five town or ten three stars. We threed all the nines. We twoed all the elevens, apart from one with town or tens. 
I think we did an excellent job overall. There are things we need to improve. We know that. But the only way we're going to improve is by doing these arranged walls. It's going to mean that the wall log is going to have red in it. But, you know, first 200 walls, we have all that recorded. We have everything there. We have pictures of our wall log. I think it's got to be in the past now. That part of the game, we've done it. We've, we've completed the mission we aim to complete. Now we've just got to move up with the big boys and compete there. And hopefully, in the future, we will do. Thanks again to Bada Bing Clan. It was a great war. Well done on your win. Well deserved. Thank you very much. Hopefully, we see you again soon. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go and take something to help my throat now because it's absolutely killing me. And I might do a little bit of farming or something. And then, yep, then we've got some war prep to do again for the next war. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy your day.